Hey everybody, I'm Yvonne with Back to Earth Creations and welcome to this week's shop update and giveaway and what's new. Um, and okay, so for the giveaway, I always start off with this, but I want to get it in on the front end before people just go down and comment for the giveaway. We will not contact you to text us your info or to require any sort of like whenever we pick our winners, we use a random comment picker and we announce it in the video. Do not give your information to a WhatsApp number. Do not give your, like, it'll, and these, these folks who've been impersonating our channel and trying to scam y'all, um, take our, like, our picture and everything and, like, they'll try to, they'll try to deceive you and just, like, I'm letting you know here that don't trust them. <laughs> we'll announce the winner in the video. So to participate in our giveaways, though, if you leave a comment on this video, that'll put your name in the hat for next week. We are going to be giving away one of our $10 booty boxes. Um, we cover the shipping. Uh, we ship to United States addresses. You can participate if you live outside of the U.S., but we just give you digital winnings as opposed to a booty box. So um, good luck to everyone. This week's winner is... Donna check. Congratulations, Donna. Um, if you could send us an email to backtruthcreations at yahoo.com, you are a winner winner chicken dinner and we will like email us with where you would like for us to ship your winnings to and we'll get that shipped out and taken care of. But congratulations, Donna Check. Uh good luck to everybody else next week um <laughs> in our giveaway. And let's see. I had made a list and then lost it. So uh, of the talking points that I supposed to, that I wanted to talk about. Um, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out to all of you who came and hung out in our 12 hour live dragon eye painting craft along a thon. That was absolutely phenomenal. It wrecked me, but I'm all better now. It's fine. <laughs> so um, we painted up a lot of really cool eyes for you guys in color combinations that I would have never dreamed up on my own. And it was very exciting to me and inspiring too. I'm going to have to try to uh, re recreate some of these eyes because they're gorgeous. We'll be putting pictures up on them on our social media because um, I need to start doing that again. <laughs> um, before getting them shipped off. And if you all make anything out of the eyes that we send you, be sure to email us pictures and we can see. Um, I'm going to try to feature y'all perhaps in our newsletters or here on the channel. We'll get it figured out. Millie's out on the front porch and is devastated. But thank you to everybody who came and hung out during our craft along a -thon. Um, We are having an auction this Friday and I'll be showing you guys, like I've got it in a pile over here. I'll be showing y'all some of the items that we're going to have up for bidding uh, this Friday, but this is not all of them. Because I'm also going to be crafting all week to get um, more jewelry made. Sorry, uh, I brain farted pretty hard right there. Let me see. What else are we doing? Live auction this weekend. We are doing a shop update. It's Thanksgiving, apparently, <laughs> this Thursday. So I'm actually not going to be doing a tutorial or premiere or anything on Thursday. We're going to be spending it with our friends who invited us to eat with their family. And that's amazing. So we're going to be doing that all day. So I hope you all, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're enjoying yourself with friends and family or just having some you time, just however it is that you're celebrating. I hope you have a good day. I got to go let this dog in. Alrighty guys, we got Millie back in. Oh, oh god, she's on the tripod. <laughs> we are going to good luck in the giveaway. Congratulations to Donna Check. Just going over back over my mental list. Auction this Friday. We should have the oh, we're also probably doing something for Black Friday. I don't know what yet, but keep an eye on your newsletter because hopefully future Randy and Vaughn are gonna figure this out and be very like professional and good <laughs> and get that taken care of. Um, good luck. And then what else? I don't know. Let's go ahead and just flip it around. And as I have more ideas and remember the things that I had written down, uh, we'll talk about them, but let's check out what's new in the shop this week. Okay. So we have a lot of fused glass for y'all this week and I'm really excited about it. And I have kind of a little bit of a different angle so that hopefully y'all can see the beautiful transparency and color in some of these cabs. Now, all of the cabochons that we have um, all that are good candidates for being fused, which I think might be all of them this week. I don't know. We'll see. Um, 
will have that option up on our website but we just go through and we do a little grooved edge and it make it it makes it perfect for doing groovy wraps like this one here uh oh the song of the people ice cream check <laughs> um oh i do like this one too i'm gonna try to get some owls and pumpkins i know it's not like spooky season anymore but i am holding on to fall with all of my heart because it's gonna be a long winter i think in our neck of the woods Ooh, i love these colors that are popping on the die crow we have some more of our smashed frit fused calves, which are the sister pieces to these ones, which I don't know, which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments. Ooh, and I love this teal. I know Millie Dog is so hard being a puppy. And then now all of the cabochons here we made except for our gemstone calves, though we still can't add a groove to them. And it's just labradorite's just so pretty. I can't help myself but to put some into the shop update. Then check out the die curl on this one, you guys. Now, any of y'all that bought, have bought Dicro before um, are probably noticing that they are much more vibrant in person. And that's just how it goes. I try my best to capture it on camera, but uh, there's just an elusive quality to the Dichroic glass that sometimes you just got to see with your eyeballs. Ooh. Then some more of our reaction glass experiments. in here with this one so our week this week looks like we have our shop update on Monday and then we're doing just half days on Tuesday and Wednesday again Thursday we're going to eat meats giving and then Friday we're having a live auction and Black Friday sale so uh, I don't know what all we're gonna have uploaded but Again, keep an eye out on your newsletter um, for, ooh, I like that one. Uh, we'll be sending out any information about that. And of course, our Happy Crafter Club members and channel members and Patreon supporters. Which whenever I say Happy Crafters, like Happy Crafter Club members, that's just an umbrella term for all of the different platforms that we have that we try to offer the same services on. Because um, it's just some folks don't like to use PayPal. Some folks don't like to use Patreon. Some folks just want to throw money at us on YouTube, which is awesome. <laughs> um, so it's uh, it's whatever avenue is right for you. But also keep in mind, there is no pressure to join our Happy Crafters Club or to give any support financially whatsoever. The best way you can help support our channel is to take care of yourself and to keep it crafty and to just, you know, you do you and hopefully enjoy our tutorials. So yay. <laughs> oh, I like this one too. But we do have those avenues there for if you're interested. Um, but keep, if you're in one of our, if you're in our Happy Crafter Club, I don't know why words are so hard for me today, you guys, but wish me luck. <laughs> um, keep an eye out for, uh, you will be the first to know whenever we get the cabs uploaded, not just for our shop updates, but for our Black Friday sale. Um, and just anything that we do, our happy crafters get first dibs, just as a thank you. Then, oh, I really like this purple. It's the rest of this tray. Do, 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 do. And then these guys. Now these ones I don't have the option to have it grooved. Um, but if any of y'all are ever interested in getting these grooved, let us know. And depending on the feedback that we get, we'll determine whether or not we start offering uh, that as a groove. I really love these with that teal and lemongrass, especially with the light cutting through it. Ooh, and then we were experimenting with trying to consistently get different shapes with our smashed cuddle calves. Oh, And then again with these big boy die crow. So pretty. Like, I love it. 
Mm. Ooh, and then this one here. E <laughs> and then more of those reaction calves. And I'm loving that we've been... I, I've been able to get consistently more oval shapes. Because this is what... I really like that. And then I, there are more pictures of these calves on our website, as well as all of the other cabochons that we have available for sale. And some jewelry that is, if you're interested in our jewelry but don't want to, like if an auction isn't really your thing, we do have jewelry just listed up for sale at the listed price um, on a first come first serve basis on our website as well. And then, yeah, I still have this here from Paint and Dragon Eyes. Which, how did y'all like that? Like, I had, a, I had an amazing time. So, uh, if you guys are interested in another Dragon Eye painting craft along a thon, let us know because I, I'm, I'm down to do that again. Okay, so now let's check out what we have coming up in the auction. So, here are some of the items that we'll be putting up in our auction this week. We have. And probably by Thursday, roundabout, Wednesday or Thursday, we'll have the pictures and prices and item numbers and stuff listed of these on our website. Um, we sold out in our last auction. Now, we did have a couple of orders that didn't go through, so those will get cycled into future uh, auctions. But it was still, it was pretty, pretty exciting. And here we have these two rings. I don't know why I try to get two Labradorites to flash at the same time. <laughs> it's like herding cats. So there's that one, which I love. I love this ring. This one, too. Oh, I was really sorely tempted to keep these. But, well, here we are. And then this bad boy, which our next wire wrapping tutorial um, is going to be on this style. Of We're going to start back up with more wire wrapping. I'm going to try to do at least one intricate pendant like this tutorial a month where we go over a different wire frame, a different style of securing the back, and a different bail in each video. So it would, in my, my thinking, it was that that would be the next natural step to if someone has completed all of our wire wrapping masterclass courses and they want to start tackling, you know, wire wrapping and weaving like this, I thought that, that would be a cool kind of way of doing it because it's, we had started doing the, oh, I can't even find them right now, but the like wire weave sampler, like key ring. And while I feel like that's a good way of like introducing people to it, to, to weaving and stuff, it's, I think it'll stick more and be more exciting as a crafter to get to actually make a finished piece. That's super durable. There we go. Um, so, I don't know. Again, let me know what you guys think about that. We do have, for those of y'all who missed out on getting custom eyes painted, we do have a few dragon eye pieces uh, in the auction, as well as up on our website for sale. I love these fractal wraps, you guys. And then here we have another one of our dichroic glass groovy calves. Love the colors in that one. Ooh, this is a, what are you, Prayonite, I think? Shaped crystal point, wrapped in some non-tarnished parawire. Oh, a little towel, owl with his tummy. Towel. Owl. Ooh, little steampunk guy. Oh, another dichro. And also, in our auctions, um, we just add a chain in for free. Um, whereas our pendants that we sell out of our shop uh, don't have a chain included. So that's kind of something to keep in mind. That one came out really nice. And then this is one that Randy wove. He does such a good job on our chain mill. I'm so proud of him. Like, I remember whenever... <laughs> He he bore through so much of my teaching him chainmail and helping and like he helped me to become a better teacher because he and I think so differently uh in weaving chainmail. Oh well we think very differently in most things. But um <laughs> I I made the mistake of teaching him the most complicated route on 
uh, making these Celtic stars and it re it's just the only way that I knew and he helped me to develop like three or four alternative routes to weaving this so I, I'm just that weave has a particular place in my heart because uh, of the memories around it and here we have another one of these Oxana style uh, marquee wraps that I just love with the mermaid glass along the neckline And then we also have ooh, one of these brass and opalite and labradorite rondel lun lunar moths. It's not a lunar moth. It's a lunar moth. <laughs> and then one of our on the fly moons. The beautiful holographic. A very vibrant pink dragon eye scale necklace. A chainmail and Swarovski crystal Celtic tree of life necklace, which, if you're inclined to wearing things on your head, also makes a very pretty circlet. And then I really like that shape. And there's another one of those Celtic stars. And then oh, these are just classic, I think. Like they look good with everything. <laughs> Ooh, and then this is a stainless steel scarab that I love. And then we start getting into the realm of bracelets and a couple of different earrings. And that is just what we have so far. Let me know in the comments if you have any particular requests. I'm going to try to get a few more of these showcase piece uh, wire woven um, pendants made. But again, we'll see how that goes. We'll see what the week holds. Thank you guys so, so much for being here. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Good luck on the giveaway and stay safe. Don't be giving your information to people with WhatsApp numbers. And I want to thank everybody who's been sending us emails to let us know whenever there's trolls in the dungeon or scammers about. Um, Y'all help us to uh, stay on top of it. So thank you guys. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all. Have a happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate. And we will see you on Friday for our auction. So until then, you guys, happy crafting. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>